Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am going to be sharing some books. Um, all of the books, almost all of the books for my spring TBR came in. So of course they'll come in at the same time. And I just don't even know how to pick what, what to read really. But I kind of do have a plan, so I'm gonna share it. And um, some of them I have on my shelf here, so I'm gonna like, this is kind of gonna be an informal video. Um, but I'm excited. So, okay, number one, this book. Look at this book. <laughs> I'm holding it. Um, if I run. So I made my spring TBR. I made it, you know, my April TBR, all the things. And then my mom texted me and was like, I bought If I Run and I love it. And I'll send it to you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so my mom literally bought this book and sent it to me. So my mom's the best. Um, I'm really excited to read it physically now and I, yeah, it's gonna be great. So really this is the first book I'm gonna start. I am currently reading Heart of Red, Blood of Blue and I'm gonna make a separate video on this because it is amazing. It's very, very good. I would highly recommend it. So yeah, I don't know if this is traditionally published. It looks like maybe it is, but I don't recognize that symbol and it doesn't say anything. I love this book. I'm almost done with it and that's kind of why I haven't started any of the Spring Tea Bear books because I've been trying to like read this one first. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna make a video about this cause I love it, so I'm excited about that. But when that's done, I'm gonna dive into If I Run and everyone says that I'll probably wanna just read the whole trilogy, which is great. Um, and I have to remember like, so I made my spring TBR and I said it's from April to middle of June, but like I feel this pressure that I have to read all of the books right now. And I gave myself two and a half months, so I don't need to feel pressured to read all these books in April. So it's fine if I want to read this whole trilogy and that's all that I get to. I'm trying to remind myself of that. So yeah, super excited though. I read the first um, the first couple sentences and I'm already really intrigued and so I'm like, ah, okay, I, I need to finish Heart of Red um, because this is just as good too. But anyways, okay. Um, after If I Run, my plan is to dive into the printed letter bookshop because this is due back on the 16th and there's already a hold on it so I won't be able to renew my loan so I think I'm gonna dive into this and again I read like the first little sentences and I think I'm gonna like it I just like like the vibe I'm getting so it's it's kind of big but it is because it's large print so hopefully it's a quick read and this also has a sequel so if I like it enough and I want to read the sequel I could do that also it's not like if I don't read these someone's gonna come for me like it literally doesn't matter oh well, okay let's just go here in my head when I was thinking about what I want to read basically um, I really want to try echoes among the stones soon but it's funny I was watching some of Chantel's videos and she I think it was her who like this wasn't her favorite by this author so I'm like oh of course it's the one I picked but it like I read all the synopsis of all her books and this one sounded the most interesting to me so that's why I picked it so I still want to try it I'm very curious and I think this is the next one that I want to get into so this is kind of what I've got on the docket I think oh I'm currently reading The Tudor's Daughter by Julie Klassen as well very slowly because I've got so many other exciting books and I think if it was the only thing I had going and nothing else was interesting me, I would really want to read it and read it quickly. But it's just slow enough that I'm like, want to read other things. So, but I do really like it. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot more than The Girl in the Gatehouse. So I'm excited about that. Um, the Girl with the Broken Heart. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna read this. I just, tragedy, tragic love stories, I don't like. <laughs> because they're sad, you know, and it's fine. So whatever. Um, yeah, this is a shorter book though. So like I could give it a go, but I just don't think it's the time. So I think I'm going to not push myself to read that. Also like all of these are due in the middle of April because I requested them and I got them like right at the end of March and you only get the books for three weeks. So I have to have the, all these read by the middle of April and I was freaking out and I'm like, dude, it literally doesn't matter. So yeah, um, some of these I'm just gonna return like after I make this video because I, even having them here, I'm like, uh, I need to read all of them, but that is not true. I don't have to read all of them. So yeah, um, also for this one, Leaving by Karen Kingsbury, 
Um, a bunch of people said there's a series before this that I should read. And so I was like, oh, all right, I think I'm gonna send this one back to you because I think it's a four or five book series before this one and I'm like, all right, that's not gonna happen. So it's fine. Okay, this one I didn't even share, but and I don't even know, I think this has nothing to do with my spring TBR actually, but I somehow came across this author, Tammy Gray, and I read about this book and it sounds really good. It's called My Hope Next Door. And it's about this girl who like has kind of a messy past and she moves back to her hometown and she has like a reputation going back there. She's back in her hometown because her mom has an illness. Her mom has an illness. And there is a pastor's son who lives next door and ends up helping her. And I just think it's gonna be really sweet. So yeah, I requested this one and I, I actually want to try to read it this month above even some of my spring TBR books because it just sounds really good. And I'm, I'm just like into adult Christian romance, basically. I can't help it, I just love it. Okay, um, that's it. But really, the If I Run trilogy is probably the main thing that's gonna happen. And then this one has a, a hold on it as well after me, so that's also why I wanna prioritize it. But I'm really just curious about this author. Sometimes dual timelines are annoying. Sometimes historical fiction is annoying for me. So eh, I'm a little hesitant, but I think it'll be fine. I don't know. This is my TBR shelf, if you are wondering. I keep all of my books that I wanna read on the shelf. And it there's double stacks back there. There's also books behind. Um, also, happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday when I'm filming this, but you're gonna see it days from now um because i'm gonna put my wrap up up tomorrow and then you'll see this video so yeah um and also like i want to make a hype video for this book because it's so good and the author is so talented she writes music too and she wrote like piano songs for this book which is so cool so yeah that's it <laughs> um how did that feel you just hung out with me i'm talking about books i want to show my april spread um there's my april cover page and then here's my spring tbr and oh the lighting is bad anyways um so i have my books and then your recommendations and i just haven't filled it all in yet but pretty fun and then there's my calendar but you can't see because i've got videos on it that's it i'm feeling good i'm feeling really good i wanted to like I wanted to get all ready because even though I'm not going to a service anywhere because churches are closed still, the second Easter in a row, it's so sad. Just don't think about it. <laughs> um, just be thankful for Jesus and everything's okay. Um, but yeah, I still wanted to get all ready and I'm gonna go out and enjoy the sun because it is sunny today, which is so nice. And then I'm going to read this book. I read it literally all day yesterday. Like I was enthralled. So I still have about a hundred, uh, 130 pages to go, but it's gonna be a quick read and I just can't believe it. It's amazing. So this author is on my radar now, pretty cool. I might be putting up a lot of videos this month, so get ready, I'm excited. I'm just loving my YouTube channel lately and I just have a lot of things that I wanna say and share with you guys and feels good. So really quickly, if you're still watching, thank you so much and hello. If you could leave any video ideas or requests, any like topic discussions, anything to do with faith or books or anything ever, let me know because I really enjoy talking with you guys in particular because you're so open and so, so good at talking about really deep, good topics. Have a great day. I'm not sure what day this is going up, but I hope your week is going well so far. Hang in there, we're gonna make it. Have a good day. Thank you for watching, bye.